Welcome to Sales Tax and More, your go-to resource for all things state tax related. Now, here is your host, Michael Fleming. Mike Fleming here. Uh, I am the founder of Sales Tax and More and today's host of the Sales Tax and More podcast, uh, where we talk about everyone's favorite subject, uh, which is, of course, sales tax. And uh, I've got Jeremy Weiss here, who has done, you know, thousands of interviews with successful entrepreneurs and CEOs. Uh, but today we're flipping the script, and uh, Jeremy's going to be interviewing me. Michael, thanks for having me. And just a brief um thing about Michael Fleming, and I consider, and many people consider, one of the USA's leading authorities when it comes to sales tax. And the episode is brought to you by Sales Tax and More. They assist companies and their trusted advisors with their sales tax needs. They offer consulting and research, registrations, returns, and much more. And over the years, they've helped thousands and thousands of sellers, both foreign and domestic, with their tax issues in the United States and Canada. You can go to salestaxandmore.com for more information and check out more episodes of the podcast as well. Um, you know, this is an interesting topic, Michael. Um, what I wrote in my notes is, uh, what if you're being bullied? What if you're being bullied? Talk about what happened. Yeah, and you know, sometimes maybe it's not bullying, but a lot of times, you know, auditors are very firm with the taxpayers. And, you know, either because they think that the taxpayer doesn't know or sometimes the auditor himself doesn't know. Um, and in this situation, you know, a lot of states right now um, are going backwards in auditing people who they believe, you know, crossed Nexus uh, months ago or a year ago. Uh, states like Maine, um, who their economic Nexus began July 1st of 2018. And they sent out a letter to everyone and said, hey, you got to prove that you didn't have nexus as of this date. Well, one of our clients uh, got that letter. And, you know, they were working with the auditor and they provided all the information. And, you know, the auditor came back and in the, uh, I don't think he was being a bad guy. I just think he was probably a, a newer guy or, or whatever else. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. But he was saying that the, uh, um, even though Nexus began on, on November 29th, that they needed to collect tax for the entire month. And the client couldn't get them to budge either way. So they turned it over to us, and I, uh, uh, I got on the, uh, the phone with one of our people internally who was working with the client. And he said, yeah, I can't get him to answer my phone. I said, okay, we'll leave him a voicemail. So we gave him a call. And just left a simple message saying, hey, this is Mike Fleming with Sales Tax and More. I'm representing so-and-so. Uh, here's what we're seeing. And, you know, we're, you know, are you seeing something different? You know, because if we use November 29th, how in the world can you, can you be asking for tax back there? Because you can't collect, be required to collect tax before you have nexus. So a real simple message like that. But the fact that it was coming from us rather than coming from the client had great impact because I never spoke to the, to the auditor, you get a call the next morning and it was taken care of. And it was, you know, a three, $4,000 error. So quick telephone call from us and, mm. and, you know, that was a good rate of return. Yeah. Great rate of rate of return. Uh, client loved us. Um, so they're not going to all be that quick or that easy, but a lot of times just having a, you know, someone other than you, you know, if it's you and the auditor, sometimes it can be adversarial where we may even know the auditor, you know, from having mm. worked with them before. So we're bringing credibility in there. We also take a lot of the emotion out of it. So we're coming at it. They expect us to know what we're doing. We're not a pushover. We're going to stand up for where we're right. We're not going to make emotional arguments and say, well, because, you know, it's not fair. We're going to say, hey, here is what we see. Can you share what you're seeing? And in this case, you see how that can make a, a major impact. So yeah. So someone had, you know, being, a, you know, a couple of factors, a third party um, and an expert coming in and, they realize they're talking to a peer instead of someone who doesn't know what they're, they're talking about. Right. And they also know that we're smart enough 
to, if we don't get the answer that we like there and we're sure about it, we'll go up a level. And he went up a level himself to speak uh, to his supervisor, um, who then came back and, and did it. So, he, you know, it's a lot better, if, you know, the state employees, a lot of them are brand new um, and they all have someone they report to and he's got to go back and get permission to do it. Mm, which is, that's a good is, point yeah. because they don't want to lose their job or look bad to their superior. Exactly. Nice. Michael, thank you. So don't get bullied. All right. Is the, um, go to <laughs> salestaxandmore.com for more information. And thank you for uh, letting me join you. Thanks, Jeremy. Great to have you. Thanks for listening. Be sure to click subscribe and check out all of the resources we have out on the web 